After seven years of absence, Honda brings back the CBR600RR to Europe in its updated 2024 model, and in today's video, we'll compare it with the older generation, which still sold in the American Honda lineup, even after they pulled the plug in Europe, and we are going to find out what's new, and whether the updates on the new CBR are really worth your money. Starting with the key specs, despite the stricter Euro 5 regulations that the new 600RR has to comply with, it generates around two more ponies than the old version, thanks to its higher peak RPM. But when it comes to torque, the new CBR is a bit less punchy, churning out 3 newton meters less than the old CBR. In terms of weight, since the new CBR packs ABS brakes as standard, we'll level the playing field by stacking it up against the ABS version of the old CBR, sporting a Honda combined ABS brake system, and it turns out the older one is a bit heavier, about 3 kilos more. Ultimately, as for the power-to-weight ratio, the more powerful and lighter new CBR boasts roughly a 3% higher power-to-weight ratio. So, what's different about the engine in the new CBR? Well, it's not entirely new. It's still based on the same engine that dates back to 2007. A liquid-cooled inline four-flat plane engine with a 599cc displacement, sharing identical bore and stroke sizes, as well as a compression ratio. They still feature the same DOHC with a four-valve per cylinder valve train, paired with a six-speed wet clutch transmission. And now for the new model, it comes with assist and slipper clutch. As for the upgrades in the new CBR's engine, there is a larger 44mm throttle body, up from 40mm, revised camshafts valve springs and crankshaft material to achieve the higher redline safely. The inlet ports are also reshaped to increase gas flow, and the cam gets new timing to improve efficiency, and then the exhaust and catalyst are also redesigned to achieve Euro 5 compliance. When it comes to features, this is where the new CBR really stands out. The old CBR 600 is a fairly old-school bike. Besides the ABS brakes which is only available in the higher ABS trim at an additional cost, there are no rider assists. Throttle is still cable actuated, while the new CBR gets a ride-by-wire throttle that offers three preset ride modes, plus two custom user modes. Honda has also equipped the new CBR with a six-axis IMU opening up a wider array of rider aids, such as a 9-level traction control system with slip rate control, 3-level of wheelie control, and 3 levels of engine braking to choose from. And on top of that, the quick shifter now comes standard, working for both up and down shifts, and there's also a full TFT display on the dash, replacing the old analog LCD combination dash. In addition to all of that, the new CBR now also features full LED lighting. Regarding the chassis, there are only minor updates on the new CBR. The frame remains the same perimeter frame made from aluminum, with a slight tweak to the rake angle, and the swing arm is now 150 grams lighter. For the front suspension, it still features a 41 mm upside down show a big piston fork, offering a full range of adjustability. But there is a slight tweak with the new CBR forks, now being 15 mm longer to offer increased flexibility for setup adjustments. At the rear, there is a fully adjustable Showa Monoshock, working together with Honda Unit Pro linkage, and then for stopping power. Both are fitted with a dual four-piston radial caliper from Takako that bites onto 310mm disc brakes on the front, paired with a 220mm disc and a single-piston caliper at the back. There are no changes to the tire sizes. The front remains fitted with a 120mm, in the rear with a 180mm tire. The wheelbase also remains unaltered at 1,370mm, the same as the last version. Similarly, the seat height remains unchanged at 820mm. The fuel tank capacity remains the same, capable of carrying 18 liters of fuel. However, in terms of consumption, the new CBR is using slightly more fuel than the old model, roughly 3% more. As for the price, the old CBR with ABS cost around $13,000 in the US, and for the new CBR, availability and pricing for the US market have not been revealed yet, but looking at the UK MSRP, the new 600RR is priced at £10,495, which makes it the cheapest super sports in the market, against the new ZX6R or even the R6 race track only model. Lastly, regarding the styling, the new CBR has undergone a facelift and now features a new fairing with winglets designed to enhance corner stability. The fuel tank cover has been lowered by 10 mm to allow for a more streamlined tuck behind the fairing, and it is also narrower to enable you to get your elbows out of the airflow. Additionally, there's a revised belly pan to get the heat away from the exhaust, 
deflect air away from the rear wheel, and further reduce drag. Then at the rear, the tail section appears largely unchanged, maintaining the underseat exhaust style that can be traced back to 2006. With all of these changes, Honda claims that the new CBR has the lowest drag coefficient in its class.